Hey, and welcome back. So today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the best shower door cleaner that I've found yet. Uh, so I actually did another video on this same thing a couple months ago, and I used this Clorox foamer, this bathroom bleach foamer, and it worked pretty well. Uh, the downside was it smelled really bad and I couldn't do the whole shower at once. And I had people commenting like, just use elbow grease and all that. And like, I've tried elbow grease. It doesn't work with this, whatever is in this water. Uh, this worked okay. It actually worked really good compared to all the natural stuff that I'd tried. But somebody recommended a product and I have not been able to find it yet called Kaboom. But in the meantime, while I was looking for it one day, uh, I was in a little local hardware store and they recommended CLR bath and kitchen foaming action cleaner with the fresh scent. And this supposedly meets the US EPA safer product standards and da 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 da. So um, I figured I'd buy it and try it, right? Because like I, this is the bane of my existence is this shower. And I have got a lot of clients, I've done a lot of bathroom remodels and I've got a lot of people that have said, I'm not putting a shower door in. I don't wanna, I don't want the glass. I don't wanna deal with cleaning it. And I've never been able to give them a, like a reasonable product that would that I know would work so I've been on the hunt because it's a struggle in my own house and so I'm just gonna show you really quickly how easy this stuff is to use and how well it works so I gotta say I am NOT like endorsed or paid by CLR or anything like that um, I will put a link in the description for this below so you can find it if you can't find it locally here's the directions super simple Spray six to eight inches from surface to be cleaned. Let CLR bath and kitchen cleaner work before wiping surface with damp sponge cloth, cloth or brush. After two to three minutes, rinse promptly with cold, clean water. Avoid prolonged contact with any surface. That's it. So I don't know if you can really tell here, if I get down lower, I did half of this door. So this is the half that I already did. You can see the tile, right? And then as I cross over, that's the half that I haven't done yet, and you can't see anything through it, right? So like down there, you know, like there's some shampoo bottles, you can't even see them. This is clear glass, right? So on the side I cleaned, you can see the shampoo bottle. I'm not gonna clean the whole shower and show you that. I'm just gonna show you uh, this one half a pane that I haven't done yet, just so you can see how quick and easy it really is. So here we go. So this stuff's super easy to work. You can probably tell now that I'm in here uh, just how bad it is from side to side, right? <laughs> so here we go. This is how easy it is. Just spray it on and it's, it's a foamer. So what I did was, uh, now it's only in that spot, right? So I just use a little brush just to, just to move it around. I'm not, I'm not scraping hard or anything. I'm just moving it around. As I'm just moving it around, I can feel it's already working. Now it says to let it set for two to three minutes. All right, I'm just gonna spray a little extra on there so I got some lubrication for this. And it has just like melted the stuff off. All right, so it says use cold water. That's pretty amazing, huh? You can actually see me through there now. There's no line. I did not scrub hard. I just like just moved the brush on it down at the bottom where it was a little more, there was a little more on there. I just had to go over it a couple more times, but I wasn't pushing hard or really working at it. This stuff, is designed to eat the lime or calcium or whatever it was that's on this. There's not really rust in this water though, which is the R in that. Um, so yeah, I'm super pumped about this. That just made my life a heck of a lot easier because this has been the bane of my existence for a very long time. And I'm glad that I finally found something that works. So thanks for watching. If you got anything out of this, give me a thumbs up down there subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this and if you have a shower door cleaner that you want me to try out. All right, thanks, have a great day.